In this video, we're going to look at what are the key economic announcements that traders need to be watching out for every month. Hello, I'm David Jones, and in the latest uh, video with Trading212, where we try and bust through all these uh, the jargon and the technical terms, I thought we'd take a look at the economic calendar. Now, now clearly, if you've watched markets, you'll know that throughout the day, there's a whole host of data that gets announced that, that can affect markets, and some of it just isn't important. So I thought, well, let's use this video to boil down the few things that we really need to be aware of uh, every month and how to pick them up uh, on the economic calendar on the trading platform. So um, what are the important events? Let's take a quick look. Let's take a look at some of the, the major economic announcements we should be aware of every month. The first one is interest rates. So every month, uh, the central banks, so the European Central Bank, the Bank of England, in the US, the Federal Reserve, in Japan, the Bank of Japan, uh, will have an interest rate announcement. Now, we've been in a low interest rate environment for many years, but these are starting to creep up. And of course, the knock-on effect here, the obvious, it's potentially all markets, but clearly uh, currencies, you know, if we see interest rates rising in one area, traditionally that will be good for that currency, but also stock markets, if we see rates start to rise, then maybe having cash becomes more attractive than it has been over recent years uh, because of this 0% policy that we've seen around the world. So these monthly interest rate decisions, even if nothing happens, even if there is no change, they're still really closely watched. On top of that, we have then the commentary around interest rates. So for example, when a, when a bank announces a change or no change, they'll often have some sort of commentary about where they think it's gonna go in the future, what the economic environment looks like, so it's not just about uh, the actual announcement itself. So a lot of, lot of uh, time is spent poring over statements around the announcement, press conferences, that sort of thing, uh, to see just what these central banks think the state of their economy is. Another thing that gets announced every month is um, inflation data. So things like the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, uh, it's the cost of living. And this is another thing that is watched very closely, maybe now more than it has been in recent years, because as inflation has started to creep up um, over maybe the last 12 to 18 months, this can usually have a knock-on impact um, when it comes to a central bank's interest rate policy, because the, the classic way uh, to try and stop runaway inflation is to adjust interest rates. So these two are very closely tied together. And we can often see, like we did actually, at the time of recording this, middle of February, we had some US inflation data out, which um, was, was different to expectations. And we did see quite a lot of volatility across all sorts of asset classes, gold, currencies, and stock markets. So inflation data, this monthly announcement, is another one to watch. We get regular updates about the state of employment in the various major economic zones. The big one here is the US, the monthly US unemployment data. You've probably heard of it. It's the non-farm payrolls. Um, so every month, typically it's the first Friday of the month, but sometimes it shifts to the second Friday, comes out at 1.30 UK time, and it's how many jobs were added or lost in the US economy uh, in the previous, previous month. And because of course the US economy is so important to the global economy, uh, the state of employment in the US, we can see quite a lot of volatility short term after this announcement comes out. And it's not so much about the absolute number, it's all about how does it differ from what the market was expecting. So if the market was expecting 150,000 jobs to be added and only 80,000 jobs to be added, um, you'll see quite a reaction again in currencies, stock markets and commodities like, like gold and oil. So non-farm payrolls is the big one typically the first Friday of every month. I think GDP, gross domestic product, is another important one, again, announced by the, the major world economies. Um, normally the important number here is a, is a percentage one, the growth. So quarter on quarter growth or annual growth. So for example, how well is the Eurozone economy doing? Is the US economy slowing down? And not surprisingly, this is something else that will have an impact on all sorts of markets. And it's all about, well, if the market's expecting 3% growth a year, and it actually looks like it's gonna be 2%, that, that's a pretty big miss. So it's all about how does it tie in with what the market has been expecting from this number as well. 
So as I say, there's a lot of data that comes out, but I think those are really the big ones to watch. They are the ones that can really inject volatility into markets and change sentiment, you know, depending on, on what the numbers look like. It's very easy to track these. So um, let's go on to the trading platform, uh, have a look at the economic calendar and how we can actually see what's happening today and in the days ahead. Let's take a look at how to find this uh, information on the trading platform. So on the, the trading 212 platform, the economic calendar is in here. So let's just click to open that. So it opens on today. I have to say, it is a good economic calendar, this. And I'm not just saying that because I do these videos with trading 212. There's quite a bit of functionality in here. So um, it opens up on today. So I'm recording this the 16th of Feb. We've already had today retail sales from the UK. Uh, it's quite an important one. You know, how well is the UK uh, high street doing? Uh, and it does flag up in terms of importance. So red, pretty important and the, the amber, yellowy color, uh, not so important here. Let's just jump forwards to next week to see what we should be looking out for. So here's Monday, uh, the following week after recording this. So Monday is a, a pretty quiet day. You can see there are announcements coming out. There's a producer price index uh, for Sweden, not so important, Eurozone Coro can, again, not important, and some New Zealand data as well. But what I can do, I can filter out the countries I want to see, or the currencies, and I can take out the lower impact events. So let's say I just wanna see high impact events. There we go. And if I jump forward one more day, the 20th of Feb, you can see 20th of Feb, is, is, there is some important data coming out, a couple of important things there. Monetary policy mi meetings, um, minutes from the last meeting from the Australian Central Bank. So what do they think of their economy? Maybe there'll be some hints there about uh, future rate rises and I can just scroll through to pick out all the important stuff. So we can see uh, on the 21st of Feb, this is quite big data for the UK, for example, jobless claims. So there's unemployment numbers, not as important as the US numbers, but pretty important for the UK economy. And of course the pound would be the obvious currency to watch. Okay, so it's very easy to flick through and see what's important in the days ahead for the markets that you're watching. And just one more very quick point on this. If I go to jobless claims for the UK and click, you can see I see what the forecast is. So I know what the market's expecting. So with, with major announcements, uh, you can actually have a head, heads up about what everyone's expecting. So when the number comes out, you know whether it's in line or whether there's been a big miss. So you can see the calendar makes it really easy, first of all, to, to spot what is actually important. So you don't need to pile through loads of data and you can filter out the not so important economic events. So hopefully after watching this, you're, you're a bit better placed to know what could be major market moving events. We'll start wrapping things up there. But as usual, if you have any questions or comments, just leave us a message in the comments down below. We do read all of them. If you like the video, click on the thumbs up and to never miss out on the various videos we do. We do a whole load of stuff during the week, cryptocurrencies, euro, gold, oil, technical analysis, all this stuff. So if you click on the subscribe button there, you get subscribed to the channel. And if you make sure you've clicked the alarm bell notification thing down there, you'll get automatically notified uh, every time we upload a new video. But for this week from me, David Jones and Trading212, We'll leave it there and I hope you have a good trading week.